What's going on everybody? It is your boy Frankie here bringing you a brand new video and today we have got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies in Spaceland gameplay. Now, if you know me, you know that I am a huge zombies fan. You probably wouldn't tell by my channel, but um, as much as I do talk about zombies in other videos where I have mentioned it, uh, you'd know by now, yeah, I'm very fond of Call of Duty and its zombies uh, modes and their past games and even up to now. Um, I'm gonna get out of the way right now that Instinction, Extinction was garbage. Worst idea ever. Um, I'm sorry to the development team over at Sledgehammer for Advanced Warfare Zombies also because those zombies were equally garbage, um, the movement was terrible, and everything about it was bad. Uh, I was scammed out of a season pass that year. That's out of the way. Let's talk about Call of Duty Zombies in Space now. Now, it seems that Infinity Ward did the right thing here uh, by deciding to add a zombies game type to their game. What you're watching is me uh, hitting round in, in the round 20s. Something like that. Uh, that's that's the, the gameplay I'll put out um, for this video. But the, they took a lot, a lot of things from Counter Zombies. I am not even gonna lie. And that's what makes this Zombies so fantastic. They kept it very, very old school by bringing back old perks. Perks like Quick Revive, uh, Stamina, we got Juggernaut. Uh, speed Cola, um, Double Tap, and uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, Mule Kick, Mule Kick is right there, um, you can see it while I, I train in the background. Um, uh, they, they even added new perks, um, oh they even brought back PhD Flopper, another staple. Um, something they added that was new was um, Trailblazers, which is you go ahead and you use your slide, and it creates a, a, a flaming trail behind you so that the zombies behind you uh, will burn and in the end it does damage to them. Uh, as it gets to the higher rounds, it doesn't do that much, so it's better to get that perk early if you're going to use it. I personally don't like it. Um, it's a cool concept. I just don't like using it uh, as a high round idea. But it's not really going to benefit in the long term, so I wouldn't decide to get a perk like that. Um, now if I'm playing just for fun, and I've got stamina up and trailblazes, I'm running around with some friends, we're just chilling, I mean, why not? I mean, I've done it already. Um, other than that, I mean, the guns, the guns in Infinite Warfare are very suspect. Um, they don't, none of them really have that classic feel, but you can see here I'm using the UMP and the, I can't even remember the name of the other gun. Uh, the, K the KVH or HVK or something like that. Um, both pack a punch. The pack a punch camo is really dope. I like it. Uh, I hope it's something they can carry on over to uh, multiplayer, uh, kind of like they did in Black Ops 2, where they had the 115 or pack a punch camo. Uh, another thing is picking up ammo clips and um, different types of grenades on the floor. I love the idea of picking up ca uh, these ammo clips. It's a way of, it's kind of like a scavenger in a way, um, without needing the scavenger perk. Uh, the drops are very similar to, to Black Ops uh, Treyarch Zombies. Uh, they've got the insta-kill, the nuke, the uh, double points, fire sale. It's literally called fire sale in this game as well. And um, Carpenter. I mean, they've even, they've even copied the names. Um, the gameplay is very smooth. The game is very smooth itself. Uh, another thing that I enjoy is the teleporters. Uh, they took the teleporters right from Treyarch. Uh, the whole pack of punch room, teleporting in there and um, being able to... It, it's, it reminds me of Kino. The first thing I thought of was, was Kino. Was Kino, oh my goodness, do you hear me? Was Kino. And it was... It was a good flashback. It was something that I remember a long time ago when I first started playing Zombies. Um, my earliest memories are on Kino because Black Ops 1 was the first Zombies game that I owned. I played World at War a couple times here and there at my friends' houses, but Black Ops 1 is what did it to me, um, did it for me, and everything. Uh, 
my passion and love for the game grew from there. Uh, something else I wanted to talk to you guys about were those souvenir machines. In the beginning of the video, you saw me using something called uh, Medusa. Uh, it's basically this drop uh, that comes out of the uh, souvenir machine. Once you collect three coins, they're purple, green, and blue, and red. Once you collect three coins, um, you go ahead and insert them into these souvenir machines. And you go ahead and have um, somewhat of a, a trap. And there's different ones depending on the order that you put the coins in or the types of colors. I haven't learned all of them yet, but I know that blue, blue, green, or green, green, blue is the electrical trap. And there is a laser trap that you can put on the window of any of the spawns for the zombies. And if they come through, instant, they're instant dead. Uh, the Medusa, by far, is my favorite. It is the most OP. It's sort of a mini nuke. You put it down on the ground where, around where you're training. You go ahead and shoot the zombies. Um, basically, it energizes them, their soul somewhat, and um, you hold your, your square button down or your, or your X, and it lets off somewhat of a mini nuke. Um, it's very... It's very good. Um, I enjoy using it. Um, I know three red coins gives you a Medusa, so I usually try to pick those up. And the area that I'm training in right here, I think is very good personally. I went ahead and I got that gun off the wall. I don't know if there's gameplay in this video of it. Um, I did get the E-Rad. This pack puncher is called the E-Radical, and um, it, it's a matter of getting rid of the ammo um, and then just buying right off the wall again, right after you pack a punch. Uh, it shoots a lot of ammo out, uh, it's, it's a pretty fast shooting gun already, and then with double tap and it being packed punch, you go through ammo so quickly. Uh, I don't know, I don't have any other methods so far, I haven't really looked up any videos either, on, on training or high rounding, but this has been my strategy so far, running this little area here, and I occasionally do get stuck, so I'll run out. Um, the area that we're in right now is, uh, Journey to Space, um, right up the alley there, the stairs is with Juggernaut and uh, Mule Kick is right around the corner of this wall. Uh, I believe there's two traps here. There's the, the rocket one there on the left, right next to Lunar Terrace. And, but yeah, I think that is the only trap. Uh, basically, you know, the whole idea of picking up cash off the floor and grenades. You can pick up plasma grenades, Sentex, um, C4, which is really good when you're running trains. Um, Oh, another thing is th these clowns that are supposed to be somewhat of like a dog round, you get the max ammo. These dudes are really annoying, but they're a good annoying, like I love them. You know, they explode once they get near you, uh, they're going to do that close damage, you can't really train them much, um, unless you've got like stamina up and you're running quicker than them, because they run um, tremendously faster than the regular zombies do. And, um, you know, that, that's just some of the things that I enjoy in Zombies in Spaceland. Um, another thing is the Bruduses, uh, those giant aliens that you saw in the beginning of the video. I should have mentioned it earlier, but um, they've got these, these giant monsters that chase you. And the, the damage that they take is incredible. Um, it's a lot of fun. The game is challenging. It's smooth. It's not too hard. Uh, you don't die too quickly, and everything is, is here. You've got the boxes, the, the box spawn. It's not really a box, but it's a wonder wheel. You can see it over there next to the E-Rat on the wall. Uh, the perks, the gameplay smooth, the characters are nice. Uh, I love everything about it, and I cannot wait until the first DLC. I have not done the Easter egg yet. I haven't seen it yet. No spoilers, please. But I will be doing that um, as soon as it, it is figured out. And, um, by this time, I think the, video, it, the Easter egg has already been solved. I think I saw Mr. Dallas JV posting a, a screenshot on Twitter of the trophy on PlayStation about it. But, yeah, that's going to do it for today, uh, guys. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Zombies in Spaceland and my opinion on the game. Uh, and that I will be posting um, content of this game for sure. Um, we all know nothing beats Treyarch Zombies. But this is a lot better than what we've gotten from other Call of Duties from Infinity Ward Sledgehammer in the past. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.